I'm so glad to be with you today reading a favorite story. This one is called There's an Alligator Under My Bed, and it is written and illustrated by Mercer Mayer. There's an alligator under my bed. There used to be an alligator under my bed. When it was time to go to sleep, I had to be very careful. Look how he's got a ramp. Why do you think he made that ramp to get up into his bed? Because I knew he was there. But whenever I looked, he always hid or something. So I'd call Mom and Dad. Mom, Dad! But they never saw it. It was up to me. I just had to do something about that alligator. So, I went to the kitchen and I got some alligator bait. I filled a paper bag full of things that alligators like to eat. Look, what does he have here? He's got some bananas and blueberries and grapes and an orange and maybe some celery. I don't know what's in that box. Hmm. Ooh. He says, I put a peanut butter sandwich, some fruit, and the last piece of pie in the garage. Hmm. And I put cookies down the hall. Oh, that's what was in the box. And I left fresh vegetables on the stairs. Look at he does cabbage and corn and tomato and broccoli and carrots and I have pears and uh, squash and maybe a cucumber and mmm mmm and some string beans. I put a soda and some candy right next to my bed, and then I watched and waited. And sure enough, out he came to get something to eat. Then I hid in the hall closet and I followed him down the stairs. I followed him down the hall. Oh, now he's at the cupcakes, cookies. And when he crawled into the garage, I slammed the door and locked it. And then I went to bed and there wasn't even any mess to clean up. Why wasn't there any mess to clean up? Now that there is an alligator in the garage, I wonder if my dad will have any trouble getting into his car tomorrow morning. I'll just go leave him a note. And the note says, Dear Dad, there is an alligator in the garage. If you need help, wake me up. Warning, be careful. The end. <laughs>